Continuing with audit in the access control, uh, what is it that uh, we are going to audit uh, further from the, uh, the system events and application events that uh, we talked about the last time? Uh, that's user events. And, and you know, okay, uh, we've got logins. Um, we've got accesses to files. We've got accesses to applications. Uh, you know, whatever it is that, that users are doing um, in, uh, in our systems. Um, and is this appropriate to uh, what we are asking them to do for the enterprise, what their, their jobs are? Um, and of course, you know, we, we will eventually be coming to uh, uh, role-based access control. And, and you know, there uh, we are making up our, our permissions on the basis of a role, on the basis of a job description, on the basis of uh, what they need access to, the least privilege that this particular job has. Um, so, uh, yeah, we've, you know, uh, there are... Uh, uh, areas that uh, that we can uh, address on on that larger group scale, but um, we do want to make sure that we don't just look at that and and just uh, address those particular areas. Are there uh, things that the users are doing because we have given them? specific tasks in addition to their regular job roles? Are there uh, things that they are doing that are completely outside what we have asked them to do? Um, and, and so, you know, user events in, in uh, many ways and, and addressing those in uh, a, a variety of areas. Now, one of those areas, you know, are, are they doing something that we have uh, that is outside what we have asked them to do. Um, therefore, uh, we need to hold individuals accountable. Um, well, not not simply for things that they are doing that are outside of that particular range, but um, how well are they doing their job? Are they making a number of errors? Again, uh, you know, this is not necessarily instantly grounds for dismissal. This is. Uh, an indication that we need to put more work into our training. Are these people, you know, are we doing enough in, in terms of outlining for our employees um, what we expect of them, what we expect them to do, what we expect them not to do? Um, and, uh, you know, what are the, the policies and uh, outcomes of those policies? And, you know, are we explaining that effectively enough? Um, so we want to hold those uh, individuals accountable for uh, those events that are outside the regular range of, of what we're asking them to do. Um, and, you know, security violations. Again, you know, are, uh, are we having unauthorized users? Are, are there people logging onto our systems uh, who are not our employees, who are not our customers, our, our contractors, or, you know, whatever, who, who do not have a, a valid reason to be there? So, you know, we need uh, to look at the security violations uh, that are possible in, in that regard. Um, you know, those user events uh, are going to expose violations, but there, there are going to be additional violations that the, the logs overall uh, are going to record and hopefully alert us to uh, that are, uh, you know, outside of our, our user events. So, you know, what are the security violations um, that are happening with regard to our systems that the the logs are telling us about if we pay attention to them. And that is what audit is all about. Um, are, uh, well, the additional part is, are we doing this properly? You know, audit, formal audits should be paying attention to the fact that are we paying enough attention to our audits? Uh, are we um, 
understanding, paying attention to the uh, uh, the alerts, the the indications that the logs are recording for us. It's just that you know we're missing them because we are not paying attention to them. You know, audit logs, uh, event logs are not a security tool if you don't look at them. They are not corrective controls. They are simply uh, detective and they are only detective if you look at them, if you pay attention to them. If you have uh, the tools, the reporting tools set to report to you at the right level of uh, violations, at the right level of activity, at uh, the, the proper sensitivity in terms of detecting that something is not right here. So, um, now, I mean, you know, this can, this can be uh, in larger scope in terms of reports of specific uh, security violations that come from a complicated uh, signature-based intrusion detection system. Or it can be keystroke monitoring. Now, of course, you know, you do keystroke monitoring, um, you've got to be very careful these days. When, when you are monitoring on, on very fine detail um, what your users are doing, uh, you run the risk of, of micromanaging. And, of course, micromanaging is a, a waste of, of your time and a, a waste of their time. Um, it's not, it's not effective management, and it's not um, good for your employees. So, um, you know, you always have to uh, pay attention to those management level uh, concepts when you are dealing with monitoring of, of anything that your employees are doing. Um, but, you know, there are times when these uh, fine detail uh, monitorings and recordings um, do turn up some uh, types of activities that may actually have security implications. And so, you know, it's, it's not something we do necessarily all the time, but it is something that can, in certain situations, uh, give us some very important information. So we, we need to pay attention to what we're doing. We need to pay attention to what our employees are doing. We have to ensure that what we, what we do with regard to our monitoring, our auditing, our uh, reviewing of what our employees are uh, doing in terms of job performance on, on the one hand, but, you know, policy fulfillment on, on the other and, and the completion of their jobs on yet a third, so three hands now. Um, all of this needs to be balanced and needs to be done properly. Um, you need to pay attention to all of this with regard to uh, our audit you know, audit overall is an important function. This is the uh, this is the assurance requirements. Very often, uh, you know, it's it's a big part of the assurance requirements in all kinds of areas with regard to our security. So we need to pay attention to that. We need to make sure. So that we are doing it appropriately, properly, uh, not just doing it for the sake of doing it or for producing numbers for reports.